Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create these isometric bars using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So like always, before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to File, New. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080, but you can use any dimension that you want. And if you have any other preset, you can use it as well. So I'm going to click create and I got now my white canvas. So like always, let's go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. But for this tutorial, we are going to need something extra. First of all, let's go to studio and let's click in isometric. Make sure that you have that one selected. I'm going to click it there. As you can see, or it comes in a, in a in another separate window, or you can then drag it and put it with all your different tabs. I prefer to use it like this in that position, but you can use it wherever you want. And the other thing that we need to go now first is we need to create the isometric grid. So for that, we are going to need that one, obviously, to uh, snap all our uh, design to that one and make sure, sorry, at the top there you have uh, turn on your snapping tool. So coming here to my isometric tab, I'm going to click modify grid and I'm presented with this window. I'm going to leave it all as it is in, in the default. If you don't have this, just make sure that you have selected like this. One thing is create plain set and the other one is let's go to to the top and make sure that you have show grid selected so now we can see the grid and now we can close that window there so how this all this works is quite simple actually if i have nothing selected in here okay you have your different views or your different planes where you selected the front the side or the top and the plain editing options, you have edit in place. So basically, if you create something, it will create it in the actual plane that you have selected at the moment. Or if you create something and then you fit to a plane, then is if you want to flip it horizontal or vertical in the plane and rotate anti-clockwise clockwise or rotate clock clockwise in here is where you do it. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to start just only with a square. I'm going to create something like this for my first bar. What I'm going to do is also, I'm going to change the color. So then it's easy, uh, um, there is an easy way to modify some. I always use my hue, my saturation, uh, my luminance. So I'm going to leave it like this at the moment. I'm going to click my selection tool. So this one needs to be one of the walls of the cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it this view that is there. So having this one like this, basically you come to your isometric panel and you select the side and then you click fit to panel. So what it does is actually puts it on the view that you have selected. I'm going to make sure that I'm making it two uh, wide and I'm going to give it one something like this like for height so now we need to make the other wall is this one that is goes there so I'm going to hit alt click and drag and then I'm going to select my front view and then I'm going to with my plane selected uh, sorry with my shape selected I'm going to hit fit to plane so now I can bring it in here. And as you can see, it's making now the walls. Now when I am start changing colors, you will see. And now we need to create the top. For that one, I'm going to sh choose, choose the top view. And to show you, I'm going to click Edit in place. So now I'm going to select my square. And I, as you can see, I can come here and actually drag it and create it like this. Perfect. So to give some kind of perspective or volume to this, we need to work with the shadows. As, as you can see, um, what I'm using in here. So basically, if the light is coming in this direction, this one, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to make it something like that. This one maybe a little bit lighter. 
something like that would be fine yes and then this one i'm going to make it a little bit darker but not as dark as this one okay so now that we have all those ones i'm going to click all of them with uh, holding shift so i can select i'm going to click command j to group them and as you can see now i can move them like uh like it's just only one one cube so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click to select alt and click and drag so i'm going to create a few copies of this one and i'm going to leave all my i'm using my top i'm going to leave two spaces in between them and let me create another one there perfect so now is we can ungroup these ones shift command j shift command j to ungroup shift command j to ungroup so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this one i don't know something somewhere there and then you can move this one down this one i'm going to make it a little bit smaller something like this and this one even this one we can make it a little bit taller actually make sure that you are snapping on the grid that is also very important perfect so now i'm going to change the color so if i click on this one and i change the color and i put something like that yellow there i know that it's 54 so if i come here now in my hue i put 54 and then i click on that one and i 54 and as you can see they're all the same kind of shade so um, this one let's make it something something like that 180 so let's choose that one there and 180 and this one here as well 180 and this one there the last one we can choose something on ranging on the blue or somewhere there 276 we click here 276 we type uh, 276 perfect so now we need to put the floor in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab in there and maybe move it up to there and i'm going to give it a gray kind of color and then i'm going to move it to the back so as you can see now this is starting taking shape and what i'm going to do is maybe this one i'm going to move it one in so we have that and this one let me snap it there and move this one and snap it there perfect so maybe we can do this one a little bit smaller let me ungroup this one uh, so i can have some space at the top and maybe this one somewhere there will be much better okay so yeah i think we are fine there so now we need to start putting actually some numbers in here so i'm going to click in the click and drag and i need to select my side and fit to plane so i'm going to put for example 100 percent and you can actually move it and put it somewhere in there and we can make it a little bit smaller and now i'm going to duplicate all these ones and then we can put for example this one you double click 70 percent and this one is uh, this is for argument's sake if you are making a um an infographic with this obviously you need to keep the the proportions um it's very important and make sure that they are all in the middle so perfect we have something there i'm going to unclick that one and i'm going to put 
let's create an arrow, arrow there. So I'm going to create something like this. And this other side, there is nothing in there. And no, I'm going to make it like this, a little bit like that. Opa, there we go. So this one should go to the front to so fit to place. And I can put it one in there and I can make it something like this. And let's change the color to something more. Uh, a little bit there, a little bit there. I think that color is fine. And now what I'm going to do is command J to duplicate this one. I'm going to move it. And what I'm going to do is now we need on the vertical side. So fit to plane. And now we need to rotate this one. And actually we can. We can actually put it in there and that one in there as well. And this one, obviously, we need to make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. So as you can see, this is quite simple. And with the aid of the grid, it's actually very simple and very quick how you can create these kind of uh, infographics or uh, kind of designs you see in the isometric view. Let me show the grid off. And like always, I'm going to put this one in the middle. There we go. And I'm going to create my background. I'm going to send this one to the back. And let's change the color. I'm using one of my watches. Swatches. I think that one there will be fine. So perfect, as you can see, it's quite simple and uh, understanding how the editing planes and the uh, views, they work. So it's very simple and very easy to create your own kind of infographics. Perfect. I think that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And please leave any comment in the section down below. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.